Hi, welcome to the African World Channel. In an era where security threats continually evolve, nations are compelled to adapt and fortify their defense capabilities. Burkina Faso, amidst the challenges posed by regional terrorist and insurgent groups, has embarked on a transformative journey to enhance its security posture. At the forefront of this endeavor lies the recent unveiling of the Akinsi Combat Drone, symbolizing a pivotal milestone in Burkina Faso's defense strategy. Remember to subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, and share it with others to help us reach a wider audience. Now let's get back to the video. Burkina Faso recently made a significant stride in bolstering its defense capabilities against regional terrorist and insurgent groups with the introduction of its new long-range combat drone, the Akinsi, unveiled on April 8, 2024. This unveiling ceremony, attended by the military and presided over by Captain Ibrahim Traore, head of the junta, marked a pivotal moment in Burkina Faso's defense strategy. The country showcased two Akinsi drones, manufactured by the renowned Turkish defense company Baykar, as part of a larger acquisition of Turkish armaments. Alongside the Akinsi drones, Burkina Faso also acquired five Bayraktar TB2 drones and a range of guided and unguided munitions, reflecting a growing reliance on Turkish military products and signaling a shift in defense partnerships. The Akinsi drone, also known as the Raider, stands as a formidable addition to Burkina Faso's defense arsenal. Manufactured by Baykar, it boasts high-altitude capabilities and long endurance, making it an ideal asset for surveillance and combat operations. With a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 5.5 tons and a payload capacity of over 1,350 kilograms, the Akinsi is equipped with robust turboprop engines and advanced electronic systems, ensuring its efficacy in various operational scenarios. Accompanying the Akinsi drones are the Bayraktar TB2 drones, tactical combat vehicles designed for surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeting missions. These drones, equipped with cameras, sensors, and the capability to carry air-to-ground missiles, offer Burkina Faso extended surveillance capabilities and enhanced response mechanisms against threats, particularly along its borders and in counterterrorism efforts. The weaponry carried by the Akinsi drones, including MAML and MAMT missiles, as well as GPS and laser-guided bombs, underscores Burkina Faso's determination to confront a spectrum of security challenges, notably the presence of Islamist terrorist groups in the region. By arming itself with versatile munitions and state-of-the-art technology, Burkina Faso aims to gain a strategic advantage in its ongoing fight against terrorism, safeguarding its citizens and territory from extremist threats. Hey lovely viewers, join our channel membership today and become a part of an exclusive community dedicated to learning, sharing, and growing together. Unlock access to premium content, exclusive perks, and join us in shaping the future of our platform. Your support enables us to continue creating high-quality content and enriching experiences for everyone. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take your engagement to the next level. Now let's get back to the video. Captain Ibrahim Traore, the interim leader of Burkina Faso, played a pivotal role in facilitating the acquisition of these drones, recognizing their potential to bolster the country's defense capabilities. Traoré's stance against external influences, particularly French intervention, aligns with the strategic pivot towards Turkey as a reliable partner in defense procurement, thereby diversifying Burkina Faso's alliances and reducing dependence on traditional suppliers. The unveiling of the Akinsi drones comes at a critical juncture for Burkina Faso, as the country grapples with a persistent jihadist insurgency that has inflicted significant casualties and displacements since its emergence from neighboring Mali in 2015. The drone footage released earlier this year depicting an assault on the northern town of Jibo underscores the urgent need for enhanced surveillance and response measures to combat extremist threats. The utilization of drones in this context demonstrates their efficacy in providing real-time intelligence and facilitating precision strikes against terrorist elements, thereby mitigating risks to both civilian populations and military personnel. Even as the terrorists sought refuge amidst the foliage, the drones' advanced technology ensured there was no place to hide. 
In conclusion, Burkina Faso's investment in advanced drone technology reflects its commitment to addressing evolving security challenges and protecting its sovereignty. The partnership with Turkey not only enhances Burkina Faso's defense capabilities, but also signifies a broader shift in geopolitical dynamics, with African nations emerging as key markets for defense and aerospace exports. As Burkina Faso continues to confront security threats, the integration of drones and other advanced technologies will play a pivotal role in safeguarding peace and stability within the region. We envision a future where African countries manufacture their own military equipment, not only saving money but also fostering skill development among citizens. It's our hope that our leaders work towards realizing this vision. We're eager to hear your thoughts. Do you believe Captain Ibrahim Traore's acquisition of the new drone will significantly impact the fight against terrorists? Additionally, what other strategies do you think can be employed to combat these threats effectively? And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others. Thank you for watching.